Hello Internet, today I want to talk about Hypercam 2. This is a program I use for recording my videos. It is running now in the background as I'm recording. You can obtain the program by going to the website www.hyperionics.com and when you go in there, you notice they have several products. When you go to the download section, you can have a version of Hypercam for free. So let's look into the program. So here you can select the screen area. You can start from the X and Y coordinates being zero and moving up to 1364 and 768, which is basically the dimensions of my screen. Y recording, you can show a rectangular area around the recorded area to prompt you to know your recording. And there are other options below, which I may leave just at the default. Next, the hotkeys. For start and stop recording, you can use F2 to pause or resume. You can use F3 and to take a single frame shot, you can use F4. If you want to pan while recording the video, you can choose pan the capture area when the mouse is moved and the following keys are pressed. So if you choose any of these options while moving the mouse, you're going to pan. The video file that will be produced is an AVI file and this will be saved in a location which by default is documents. You can also choose which drive and which location that will be saved at. You can browse the file name, you can open an output folder, and you can choose to add sequential numbers to the file name. You can define the rates per second while recording. You can define a full frame capture ratio. You can define a key frame. I leave all of these just like they are. The important thing you should notice here is this part on the video compressor. Here I'm having an XFIT codec. This is not the native codec with which the program came. However, if you use the native codec, it's going to work fine. You can configure this compressor, and in my case, I have it at 85% compression. You can choose where the sound is recorded from. In this case, I'm having an external microphone connected. This is the Samsung GoMic, and you can choose the number of channels as well as the sample size and the sample rate. Under options, you can choose whether the cursor should be recorded and whether it is recorded from the screen. You can add star burst to the movie when the cursor is clicked. And in this case, you can define the size and also define the color when the different parts of the mouse are clicked, whether you're left clicking or right clicking. You can also put screen notes if you wish. Here's the license information. If you're through with all this, to record, you go here. That is where you start recording. I'm recording right now. That is why you see stop recording there. And to pause, you go here and pause. And after recording your video, you can go to play to see the video that was just recorded. Or you can go to this part to access the file you just recorded. That was a good overview of the Hypercam 2 video recording software. And as said before, this is what I use in recording my videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.